Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the so delicious dairy-free Wonder Milk Dairy-Free Frozen Desserts. I have the Vanilla Peanut Sundae. And I have a Salted Caramel Sundae. These were $4.99 each at Kroger, and you get, oh, you only get three cones. I like it says, holy cow free. Holy cow free. Yeah, three cones. Uh, should we do peanut, vanilla peanut, or salted caramel first? Okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was expecting, I, I don't look at the boxes closely when I buy them. I was expecting four, four cones. And you For this get, size box, you would expect four. And you get three. You just opened the cones of your dreams. A magical blend of creamy plant-based ingredients, amazing vanilla flavor, crunchy peanut toppings, and chocolatey swirls, all whipped into something so smooth, it's a legend no dairy. You like that play on words? <laughs> yeah, okay. it looks a lot like um, some of the other cones we've tried. Uh, it is uh, non-GMO verified. Let's see. And these 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 are new. If I didn't say that, they're new. It's they're Mexico. made in Mexico. Uh, they're made in Mexico for uh, so delicious. Uh, it's 870 calories if you eat all three. No, I was say. If you eat all three. <laughs> or they're 290 calories a piece. So they're not low calories just because they're, they're not, dairy free. Oh, no, not sure. at all. Uh, well, some people think because it's dairy free and stuff like that, it's it's healthier. It's not necessarily healthier. I made sure I took a bite in the line with the peanuts. Mm -hmm. There's peanuts and chocolate all through there. Though. Mm -hmm. I um I like the peanuts. I love um just like on a drumstick. I like drumsticks that you know with the peanuts mm -hmm. on top because it adds a texture, and I'm a peanut fanatic. Um, the chocolate is a little yes. Um, I mean, it tastes like chocolate, but it's got a little bitterness to it. The, to yes, me. I agree. Because I can't make it a milk chocolate. <laughs> mm -hmm. What does the cone taste like? Do your trick. Oh, just bite the bottom of it all. Um, I said trick because you would never do that. In, First thing, because <laughs> all your ice cream leak out. It looks like it has chocolate up in there. It does have that stopper in the bottom. That's good. Mm. It keeps that, it from dripping out. The cone's the best part. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Had sweetness. I love the cone. The cone, yeah, it's sweet. And I like the texture of it. Mm -hmm. That's a nice cone. It's not as hard as some sugar cones are. I think I like it, mm -hmm. but I do want you to know that the chocolate is a little bitter. Yeah, yeah, it's a little on the dark side. Mm -hmm. That's all you need to know about it, but... Well, like I said, if they're, if they're doing no dairy, they can't add milk to make a milk right. chocolate out of it. So. so, but I would have no issue eating that. No, I would eat it. The peanuts are really good, and the ice cream itself, or the whatever they call it, um, the non-dairy dessert, uh, it is not what you would, it's not quite what ice cream is, but it's still pretty good. I like how they decorate the insides of these boxes. It uh, says basically the same thing, but it says um, amazingly luscious salted caramel flavor and chocolatey swirls. And then it says for your taste buds and your best buds. These huh. are salted caramel sundae, 820 for the entire container, or 270. Yeah, so this, this salted caramel is fewer calories. Um, eight eight twenty or two seventy for each one. There's no peanuts. It's softer, isn't it? Yeah. It's very very soft ice cream. Look at that. Mhm. Mm it's got like a core of caramel. Um, I like that one better. It does come across as a little sweeter. The chocolate's still got a little bitterness to it, but the caramel kind of outweighs it. It does taste like a salted caramel. Mm -hmm. It's not the best salted caramel I've ever had, but it's it's good. And, um, it's a little artificial, almost maple-y. I was gonna say that. Mm -hmm. It almost reminds you of um, 
If I was blindfolded, I would have guessed that was maple. A maple flavor. A maple. It is. I think it's because they added the caramel and the bitterness of that chocolate together. Uh -huh. Kind of makes it come across as a maple yeah. flavor. Yeah. It, it comes. It, it tastes like a. That's uh, what's left over. We've had maple, and we have said, "Oh, that's a fake maple. It's a really fake maple flavor." That's what that tastes yeah. like. It's fake maple. And that's good or bad that's what's settling in my mouth right now and that uh that cone is going to be the same cone so i'm not going to break yeah. it open um i love the cone though that the cone's truly my favorite part of the whole thing um and it but it always has been to be fair besides the peanuts on any of these cones no matter what brand um i really like the cone itself mm -hmm. um because you get the crunch and the texture mm -hmm. along with the ice cream um now, uh, because I that, think if you're dairy free, I think you'd be happy. I think you'll be very happy, but because that does settle in as a fake maple flavor, I would pick the one with the peanuts. I would I, too. Oh, you changed your mm -hmm. mind? Yeah, I would too because I'm sitting here with maple flavor. It's mm -hmm. like I've had pancakes. And it's yes. Like, it's like I don't know if I want that flavor. And it's at not all. good quality syrup. Yeah, it's got that very strong aftertaste. Uh huh. Yeah. So I think some of you are really gonna like it, and it's not gonna bother you. Yeah. And uh, some of you are not gonna like it. It does not taste like salted caramel. No. That's the it thing. does if you if you isolate it by itself, it's somewhat caramel because when I was eating it, it's like oh that's a really nice salted caramel, but then yeah, it turns into maple pretty quick. It really does. So if you like peanuts, I would go for the one with the yeah. peanuts. If you don't like peanuts for some reason, then the try the salted caramel and see what you think. You yeah. know, it's five bucks. You're getting three ice creams. It's not like you're going to be stuck with them for a long time if you don't like them anyway. Yeah, so. uh, the peanut one and the chocolate, you're left over with like a bitter chocolate flavor, like you've had a dark chocolate candy. Bar. Yes. So, so yes. That, I'd rather have that after taste the maple. Absolutely. I agree. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.